let's get this show on the Rizzoed. Hello everybody, welcome to the week 15 Tecmo Super Bowl prediction stream. Ugh. No, they actually got the order right tonight. <laughs> they brought everything. So I got nothing to gripe about tonight. I mean, I, I can gripe about a lot of stuff, but I'm going to try not to. This is a happy place tonight. Giants taking on the Cowboys. I get to play as the Ravens versus the Packers. Hopefully you can hear me okay. How are you doing tonight, Calicut? I can hear myself in my on my tablet, so we must be all right. get started here just gonna run a little bit of an ad here so we can avoid having ads playing during the damn stream got yourself an early Xmas gift what'd you get yourself, got yourself an early Xmas I don't want to hear myself twice I want to hear myself three times. There we go. A Google Pixel 6. Nice. I'm trying to get used to this new phone that my mom got me for my birthday. Because my old Samsung Galaxy J3 that I've had for... I don't know, 2017, 2018. Finally going down for the count. So my mom offered to buy me a phone for my birthday. And I got an offer from Boost Mobile, $250 off the new uh, Celeros 5G phone that Dish Network has a proprietary claim on. But the only problem is it's one of these long-ass phones. It's probably about an inch and a half longer than my current phone. And it's awkward to hold. And I haven't quite gotten used to uh, the differences. It's, it's different enough. It's still Android, but it's different enough to where it's annoying. Yeah, well, my phone, my current phone, which I'm still using just for Wi-Fi purposes, um, it freezes up uh, when it's when it's off. It'll turn on all of a sudden and like vibrate nonstop and turn the flashlight on while it's running the battery down. All kinds of stuff like that. That it might just be the battery, but. Boost Mobile's doing away with the 3G network coverage in my area next year. And they basically said that this device is no longer going to be supported as far as my mobile data goes. But I never use mobile data because I never leave my house. So I'm connected to my in-home Wi-Fi through Comcast. But it was time for a new device anyways. So, it, it would probably, for what I paid for this Samsung phone, I think I paid $120 for it when it was new back in 2017, 2018. Um, it would probably cost me 80, 90 bucks just to get a replacement battery for it. So, you might as well just get a new phone at that point. So, but 
Enough talk about mobile devices and stuff like that. We are here to take care of business tonight. Welcome in, everybody, to the Week 15 Tecmo Super Bowl prediction stream. My name is Cap Caponis. Joe, asshole, motherfucker, whatever you want to call me. And as you can see, Calicott pimping the TLC, the Love Alive charity. I keep meaning to take that graphic off because this one's better. The graphic, when I put it on stream elements, condensed it down. It's supposed to be this size, but for whatever reason, stream elements makes it smaller. I am taking up money on behalf of the Love Alive Charity, which is a local not-for-profit organization here in the greater Jacksonville area for 10 years, as you can see by the little garnish on the image. They have been helping families in need in and around Jacksonville with items such as food, clothing, rent and utility assistance, Anything that a family might need to just make it from day to day, week to week, month to month. The Love Alive charity has tried to be there as much as possible. Run, of course, by the Pope, Elijah Burke, professional wrestler. And on January the 8th, if you're in the Jacksonville area, there's going to be a live wrestling event Sponsored in part by the Love Alive Charity, presented by National Wrestling Alliance Power. That's going to be Duval Brawl 4, January the 8th. I need to get, I need to get the graphic for it at this point. I keep saying I'm going to put the graphic up for it, and I never get the goddamn graphic. So I'll remember to get it t tonight, and it'll be up for tomorrow's stream. But anyways... If you got a few extra bucks and you want to help out a good cause, can I persuade you to donate a few dollars to the Love Alive charity? It would really mean a lot. I've donated some money. Calicut has donated some money. We've got an NWA World Heavyweight title match at Duval Brawl 4. Trevor Murdoch, the defending NWA World Heavyweight Champion, taking on former WWE legend gangrel so if you're in the area and you want to see that your donation can also go towards tickets but what we are doing here is we are playing for entertainment purposes only i do not intend the final scores of these games to be what i say the score of the real game is going to be because let's face it this is tecmo super bowl this is going to be a gaudy, gaudy score. What's that, Calicut? But this is for entertainment purposes only. So, when you see the Giants crush the Cowboys 75 to nothing, don't think that there's any way that the real Giants are going to do that. They're probably actually going to lose 75 to nothing. But we are using the... Week 1 modified version of the 1991 Tecmo Super Bowl for the Nintendo Entertainment System by S. Blue Man, who put this roster modification together in time for Week 1 back on September 8th, 2021. So all rosters are as close to what they are in real life as possible. And if you don't like it, you better learn to love it, because it's the best thing going today. Woo! Sorry about that. <laughs> probably, probably should turn the mic down a little bit. I went into the red <coughs> on that one. Oh, boy. As you can see, if you look over to the right-hand side of my screen... The Giants on stream are 12 and 1. The real Giants are like 4 and 9 or something like that. 4 and 8, 4 and 7. I forget what the real record is. And the little parentheses number is the outcome of the games. It's cuz I actually have lost a few games. 
So the number is not going to be a direct mirror of the winning record on stream. And in the bonus games, I'm 12-4. and four. We've played a couple of extra bonus games. Of course, the Giants had a bye week one week. So we had another... We had two bonus games that weekend. Plus, I've played a couple of college games thrown into the mix that count towards the bonus total. And in real life, we are 6-10 and 10 on those bonus games. So, we play these games in preseason mode. To ensure that all players are in tip-top condition. Hopefully no injuries. But as we've learned when we play a regular season. That does carry over into the exhibition games too. If a player is out hurt. Because we've been without a couple of our key players here. As we've played these prediction stream games this year. First up, Giants versus Dallas. We are going to go for some prediction points. Am I going to win? Am I going to lose? I forgot to do that last night. We were doing it where uh, it wasn't going to be win or lose on that Tecmo Super Bowl 3. I just decided to do a computer was going to score 50 points on me. But we're going back to our traditional will I win, will I lose. We are going to start this up. You got 15 minutes to vote. I'm always going to vote against myself. So I'm going to put 10,000 points on the line to start off tonight. To give you guys a chance to win some points. You can bet as little as 10, or you can bet as much as you're willing to gamble. It's just Twitch currency. It don't cost you no money. And we are underway here. Game number one of two tonight. The Giants have won the coin toss, and I have elected to receive... Greg Zerline to kick off. Jabril Peppers in the backfield for the Giants. And we are off. Peppers going to take it out of the end zone. Peppers looking to break another kickoff return. He had one a few weeks ago. And here we are on offense. We've got the community challenge at 75%. Way to go, guys. Thank you. For the donation to the Community Challenge, Calicot. 18,000 points towards the 50,000 needed for the hair metal concert. I am changing around my playbook to suit my own personal tastes. We are underway now. Daniel Jones under center. Saquon Barkley in the backfield for the Giants. Kenny Galladay downfield. Galladay makes the reception in coverage. Gets across the 50-yard line to about the 48-yard line. And Big Blue is already into Dallas territory. Barkley with the pitch going up top. Stuck on the lineman. And Barkley wiggles and gets passed for about 14 yards. First down, Giants. Hand off to Barkley again. Barkley tied up. Shakes one tackle off. Is taken down after a gain of only two yards. Second down and eight now for the Giants. Dallas with a blitz. Dump pass to the side to Barkley. Barkley catches it and narrowly avoids getting caught in the backfield. Picking up another first down for the Giants. Daniel Jones going to keep this one. Jones is running kind of slow. Let me check and see what condition my condition is in. 
Daniel Jones in bad condition. Probably shouldn't run the ball with him. Sterling Shepard also in bad condition. Let's see. Let's put the rookie, yeah, the rookie Kadarius Tony also in bad condition. You got Jabril Peppers in at a wide receiver. Still trying to figure that one out. But no doubt it's because he is a uh, returner. Kyle Rudolph also in bad condition. We might as well just leave Shepard in there then. Second down and six for the Giants. Barkley with the pitch. Barkley going to take off. Has the first down. Has a touchdown. Touchdown, Giants. How about them Cowboys? Extra point is up. It is good. Giants with a 7-0 lead here in the first quarter. Tony Pollard back to receive for the Giant or for the Cowboys, going to take it out of the end zone. Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield, and Dak Prescott under center for Dallas. Prescott back to pass. Prescott throws it out of bounds. If you want to know what kind of silly stuff you can do, there's all the commands for the channels. The Jag command is specifically for our Tuesday night stream, since we're playing with the Jaguars on our Tecmo Super Bowl three stream this season. But if you feel like doing it, I'm not going to bitch about it. Ezekiel Elliott picking up that first down. Going deep to Gallup. Gallup makes the catch. Gallup going to beat the defenders. And Dallas strikes. See if we can get that blocked extra point here. And it's not going to be blocked. Real Peppers going to take it from about the 10-yard line. Peppers gets to about the 23-yard line. And the Giants back on offense here. As I try to get this grilled cheese stuffed burrito out of the packaging. Because I'm one of these non-pro streamers that eats while I stream. Barkley with the pitch. Barkley has another first down and gets about 20 yards on that run. Jones with the snap. Going downfield to Shepard. Shepard's got the first down out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Giants are on the move with 35 seconds left here in the first. Score tied at 7. Galladay downfield. Galladay makes the catch in stride. Galladay crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Giants. And we got a slobber knocker here, as JR would say. Extra point is good. 14 to 7 Giants. Gano kicking off Pollard to receive as time runs out here in the first. Go ahead, make my day, Galladay. Now. If only they would throw the ball to him that consistently in real life. Maybe they wouldn't be 4-9. Blake Martinez getting in there. Prescott, incomplete pass. Uh, 
Oh boy. Dak going for the tight end. Incomplete pass is the result. Martinez getting after Prescott again, forcing the Cowboys to punt. Jabril Peppers back at the 20. And Peppers going to get it to about the 32-yard line before he is brought down. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it holds up. Saquon doing a little bit of a swerve there. Cut inside and then back to the outside to pick up that big first down run. Daniel Jones going downfield to Galladay once again. Galladay making it look too easy. Take it from the three-yard line. Pollard got a good block there. Broke out past the 20. <clears throat> and the Cowboys back on the field on offense. Ooh, Prescott thought he was going to hand it off to Zeke. Hits Amari Cooper. Cooper may be gone. Not going to be gone because Tecmo Super Bowl has that insane speed just when you think they're going to get away from you. Boom. And Ezekiel easily gets into the end zone. Gets out past the 20. <clears throat> Dallas coming after Saquon. Saquon's running kind of slow. He might be in bad condition. Oh, we're going to take Saquon out. We're going to put Booker in. Actually, what's Brightwell? Hmm. This ain't looking too good for the Giants here. We'll bring in Devonta Booker. Booker immediately going to get caught. Third down and 18 for the Giants. Darius Slayton threads that needle between those two defenders. Gets a big first down, down to about the 46-yard line of Dallas. Booker with the pitch. Booker. Gonna keep that ball rolling, keep those chains moving. 58 seconds left to play here in the first half. Giants lead 21-14. Going downfield to Galladay and overthrown. Probably should have gone for Slayton, but I cycled off of him a little too quickly there. Evan Ingram, the tight end. 19 seconds left on the clock here in the first half. 
across the field to Darius! Darius Slayton! At the half, the New York Giants are leading 28 to 14. Saquon Barkley, six carries for 77 yards. Ezekiel Elliott, two for 14. Daniel Jones, 200 yards passing. Prescott at 142. <clears throat> Kenny Galladay, all a day. Three receptions, 105 yards, and Amari Cooper, one for 72. You saw it go for the score. And we're only at the half. Gano kicking off. Tony Pollard back deep to receive. Pollard getting a nice little return there for the Cowboys to start off this second half. This is going to be a blitz, ladies and gentlemen. Prescott gets it out, though. God damn it. I missed the tackle. <clears throat> Logan Ryan went to dive for Ezekiel Elliott. And he blew right past me. Elliott again with the handoff. Going to get buried behind the line of scrimmage that time. A loss of two yards. Second down and 12. Elliott again. With a loss of yards, three that time. Third down and 15 for Dallas. Prescott stepping up. Prescott going to try to run it. And that's going to bring up fourth down. And force the punt. Grill Peppers awaits in the end zone. That's going to be a touchback. Going to bring it out to the 25-yard line, or the 20-yard line, I'm sorry. So, nope, it is the 25-yard line. Never can remember if it's the 20 or the 25 on the touchbacks. Evan Ingram getting what he needs for the first down. Booker again with the handoff. Booker buried that time behind the line of scrimmage. Loses two yards. Daniel Jones back to pass. Jones avoiding the sack. Going to chuck it down the field to Galladay. Touchdown. Kenny Galladay. This is what, his fourth touchdown this ballgame? Gano to kick off. Pollard back to receive once again. Starting to sound like a broken record. Giants have been scoring so much tonight. First down and 10 for Dallas. Their own 20 yard line. Man in motion for the Cowboys. And Prescott going to try to break free. Prescott going to run it himself. Martinez in pursuit. Martinez slams him. But not before he makes the first down. Prescott on the run again. Hits Jarwin that time. The tight end just short of a first down. 
for the Dallas Cowboys. Zeke Elliott at that time making it trivial. Zeke moving the chains. Hey, excuse me. Prescott back to pass. Prescott got a couple of guys wide open down the field, but it's going to be knocked down. Second down and 10 for Dallas. Man in motion for the Cowboys. Keep thinking he's going to hand that ball off to Zeke, and he never does. Oh, threw it right to two blue jerseys. No Dallas players anywhere near that. Prescott lucky that that wasn't picked off, and I'm kind of pissed that it wasn't picked off. And Amari Cooper makes the catch and the first down at the 16-yard line. 36 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Giants up 35 to 14. Prescott back to pass. Prescott short little dump to Elliott. Elliott gets the first down. This is going to be a blitz. Prescott all day long there. And it's intercepted. Giants with the big turnover as time runs out in the third quarter. Touchback going to bring it to the 25-yard line. Jones to Ingram. Way overthrown on that ball. Let's see. Hopefully Barkley is in good condition. Barkley's still in bad condition. Jones is in better condition. Galladay. Ingram's in bad condition now. Let's see if old Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, is a little bit better. Taking a shot at Galladay once again. Galladay! Catching balls all day, Galladay. Barkley going to get buried here. Losing five yards on that one. Saquon. Second down and 15 for the Giants. Dallas coming in hard and fast again. I went to the same play and paid the price. Lost another four yards. Galladay creeps us up a little bit closer. We are going to go for the field goal here. That's probably not going to be a good field goal. And unaway, unable on that bottom hash mark. Unable. To get that kick in. The curse of the southern hash mark strikes again. Dallas with a good opportunity. I don't know if they can make three or four scores in the 358 left. And Elliott plastered for a six yard loss. Third down and 16 now for the Cowboys. Elliott again with the handoff. Elliott going to get some good blocks. Knocking those defenders out of his way. He's got a clear lane down the side. Play. This fucking play, I don't know why I don't call this play every time. Because whenever they call it, it just burns me every single time. And Elliott picking up big yardage and a big, big touchdown run for Dallas. You got to think they're going for the onside. Hernandez with the recovery for that onside kick. All right, they got my number on that play. Second down and 15. Go 
Owens eat to Galladay again. It's been all day Galladay. Touchdown. Forty-two to twenty-one now. Just over two minutes left to play. Time running out for the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott going to pick up a couple yards on that one. Second down and eight for Dallas. This is going to be a blitz. And it is picked off again. Logan Ryan making up for that blown coverage earlier. With the interception, Prescott's second interception of this ballgame. And Barkley... Picking up the first down for the Giants. Barkley with the handoff once again. Barkley up the middle, second down and five. Dallas going to call timeout. A minute five left on the clock. We get another couple first downs. This game is pretty much over. It's pretty much over anyways. We're just trying to make it seem like Dallas actually has a chance to come back, even though they don't. Barkley shakes it off. 28 seconds left on the clock. Giants methodically moving down the field. Barkley again going to have a big first down. Five seconds left on the clock. And we are going to rub some salt in the wounds. <laughs> How about them Cowboys? Extra point is up, and it is good. And the Giants laying the smack down to the Dallas Cowboys here. 49-21. to Let's hope that that is a similar outcome. I don't care if it's 10-9, as long as the Giants can win. As long as we don't get swept by the Cowboys this year, I'll be happy. Whatever the score is, I don't think it'll be 49-21. to I just want to see the Giants in the win column this weekend. Saquon Barkley, 14 carries, 107 yards. Elliott, 8 for 99. Most of the O's yardage coming on that one run down to the southern sideline where he just ran right by me. Probably went about 60 yards on that one carry. Daniel Jones, 396 yards passing, no interceptions, and a bunch of touchdowns. Kenny Galladay caught seven of them for 282 yards. Prescott, 206 through the air, two interceptions, a couple of touchdowns for Prescott as well. And Amari Cooper, two receptions for 99 yards. And the Giants... Wind up in the win column on the stream to go to 13-1 and one on the stream now. Will that translate into some good juju for the real Giants? Let's hope so. They are playing at home, but they've got a lot of injuries. And before we go to the next game let us reward some points it looks like two of you voted that I was gonna win and one of you voted against me I know the one that voted against me was me so a couple of you coming away with some points congratulations to Calicot congratulations Sheiky baby on your win All right, before we go to the next game, I am going to go to the Twitter machine and brag a little bit. 
And while I do that, I am going to run another ad to keep the lights on. We will be right back. Right, we are back. We are back. Hopefully everybody got up and stretched and went to go poop and did whatever it is you needed to do while I was running ads. We are now back and ready to go to game number two. Where is my controller? There is my controller. We are playing as the Baltimore Ravens. As chosen on Twitter, only five people voted on this week's game. Kind of disappointed down from last week by a few votes. But out of those five votes, the Baltimore Ravens got 60% to the 40%. It was tied at four votes apiece this morning. And I think it was Doodle Piz that broke the tie because she hates the Green Bay Packers. Being from the Chicago area and living in Minnesota, she is not a fan of the Green Bay Packers. So we are playing as Baltimore... against the cheese heads game number two about to kick off the Ravens have won the coin toss and you know I'm gonna elect to receive we are gonna put the prediction stream up am I gonna win am I gonna lose I'm voting against myself again we're only going to put up 5,000 points this time. Actually, you know what? Now nah, we'll put 10 up again. Packers versus Ravens. Getting underway here. We go. You got 15 minutes to vote. So vote the way. Duvernay back to receive. Crosby kicking off for the Packers. Duvernay getting some good blocks there. Gets out past the 25, the 30 yard line. Duvernay still on his feet. Gets to the 33 yard line. 30 yard gain on that kickoff recovery. Or kickoff, opening kickoff, whatever. Lamar Jackson in bad condition. 
Gus Edwards in the backfield is an excellent. Marquise Brown, Sammy Watkins, Mark Andrews, the tight end in bad condition. So we got some badly banged up players here for Baltimore. I'm looking at Tyson Williams. Gus Edwards. Yeah, we'll roll with Gus Edwards. And Tyler Huntley is in excellent condition. We don't want to bring him in, though. We're just going to roll with Mark Jackson. Or Lamar Jackson. Why am I saying Mark Jackson? I'm getting everybody's name wrong tonight. And Jackson. Saying bad condition? Kiss my ass. I'm not in bad condition. I can still run faster than any of their defense. He proved it there by keeping the ball and getting that first down. Gus Edwards going to pick up three yards on that reception. Need to change a play in the playbook real quick. Peanut butter play is not in there. It is now. And I don't like the rollout. I don't like the rollout. So we're going to get us the pro screen. are going to go downfield on well, at least one of those. All right. Jackson. Going to run it again. Jackson out of bounds, picking up about 30 yards on that carry. Even in bad condition, he is faster than lightning. Gus Edwards going to pick up another first down for the Ravens. First down and 10 now on about the 18-yard line of the Green Bay Packers. Edwards out of the backfield. Ah, don't worry about it. Whose birthday? Is it the streamer's birthday? Because we will raid them. International Space Bacon. Remind me at the end of the stream, and I'll raid them. I'm not familiar with them, but if they're anything like their name implies, they sound like a fun stream. And you can't go wrong with bacon, can you? Hey, Hill, burning me there. Hill, I, I've made two dives with Justin Tucker trying to tackle that motherfucker. And both times, Hill was just right in front of me there. Aaron Rodgers going down. Williams with the sack. Is he going to be online when we get done with it? Probably be about another 30 minutes or so for this stream. And Jones with the run, picking up five yards there. Third down and five now for the Green Bay Packers. Jones again, not going to get what he needs. No gain on the play. Green Bay going to attempt a field goal. Mason Crosby is up, and it is no good. Mason Crosby missing the field goal. But hey, that's just the way it is sometimes, you know? Edwards with the handoff. Edwards just short of the first down. Second down and one now for the Baltimore Ravens. Green Bay coming in hard and fast with the blitz. And Sammy Watkins, the former Bulldog, picking that up for the first down. First down and 10 on about the 38-yard line. Going deep to Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown, touchdown. Marquise, touchdown, Brown. 
taking it into the end zone for the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson coming into this game in bad condition. He is not playing that way so far. Justin Tucker to kick off. Hill back to receive again. We got to stop Hill this time. Don't give him that room to run. First down and 10 for the pack. Rodgers, plenty of time. Rodgers going down to Scantlin, and it is picked off. Humphrey with the interception as time runs out in the first quarter. And Baltimore picking up the big turnover. Jackson keeping it. Jackson gets another first down. Oh, Edwards losing four yards on that play. Jackson checking downfield to Watkins again. Sammy Watkins, touchdown. Ravens are up 21-0 here at the start of the second quarter. Justin Tucker to kick off again. Hill to receive. Ooh. Tomorrow night on the prediction stream, we finished up season three of the prediction stream with the Las Vegas Raiders last week. We did not win the Super Bowl. We didn't even make it to the playoffs. Because we lost to the Colts. The Colts took our spot in the playoffs in the wild card game. But we did play as the Tennessee Titans against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl game itself. And we led the Titans to a Super Bowl victory over Brady and the Bucks. Well, tomorrow night, since we're in between official seasons on the Thursday Night Fanball stream, I'm going to have a second guest... For the second time ever on Discord with me, coaching me up. We are bringing in none other than Oog37, who is a great retro streamer here on Twitch, another member of the Tecmo Super Bowl community. Always playing all kinds of fun randomizers with classics like Dragon Warrior, Mega Man. And he has a homebrewed Tecmo Super Bowl. I get the bad feeling that this is not legitimate. He's also got a lot of noises on his stream. But Oogie37 going to be our guest coach tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be playing as the all-time New York Giants team. And he even made me the quarterback. I will be playing with some of the best Giants players in the history of the franchise. I'm going to have Frank Gifford as my wide, one of my wide receivers along with Amani Toomer. I've got Tiki Barber, Rodney Hampton, Dave Meggett, and Saquon Barkley in the backfield. Of course, Lawrence Taylor, Carl Banks, Harry Carson, Pepper Johnson. That great, great Giants linebacking core from the glory days of the 80s and early 90s. And I'm going to be playing against the Twitch Defender team which is Oogie's little personal vanity project full of kind of doing what I'm doing on my Tecmo Super Bowl three stream with some personal friends, some mean players, and I think he's got himself in there. Ricky Thrills, number 37, is the running back for the Twitch Defender team. Uh, Ricky Thrills, if you recognize the name, of course, is one of my safeties on my Tecmo Super Bowl three squad. And that is a player that is dedicated to Oogie 37. 
And we're going to have some fun tomorrow night. He's going to put me to the challenge with this home-baked Tecmo Super Bowl ROM. And once that game against the Defenders is played, we're going to play some other games and just see what happens. But just because he's going to be on Discord coaching me up does not mean that you guys can't participate when we had Bricko on a few weeks ago. Bricko, in conjunction with the people in chat, Bricko, by the end of the night, Bricko was consulting with the chat on what plays to pick. So a good time is had by all. We're going to let the chat call the plays as we would as if it was a normal stream. But of course, Oog37 going to have the priority since he is going to be giving up some of his own personal time to be here with me live on Discord. And then in January, I haven't heard back from him yet. So I don't want to call him out until I know one way or the other, but I've already reached out to the January participant. It's somebody that's supported my Tecmo Super Bowl streams from pretty much day one. A guy that's been not necessarily always been active in the stream, but always lurking, always coming in to check to see what's going on and say, hey, since we started doing this April of 2020, May of 2020 with the Tecmo Bowl streams, since, since he was one of my first supporters for these Tecmo Bowl streams, I've reached out to him to be my third guest for the month of January. He might be kind of shy, though. Mark Andrews making the leap and catch. Picking up the first down. Picking up a touchdown. And the Ravens just pouring it on the pack. Scoreboard, baby! <laughs> Tucker to kick off. Hill back to receive. We're hurting him. We're hurting him bad. Aaron Rodgers going downfield. Oh, dangerously close to going into the hands of a Raven defender. And at the half, Ravens lead 28-3. Lamar Jackson, four carries for 53 yards. Aaron Jones, six for 27. Jackson, 100% completion on his quarterback rating. 171 yards through the air. Mark Andrews, you just saw the big touchdown. One reception for 65 yards, and we've had a couple to Sammy Watkins, including a touchdown pass. Aaron Rodgers not doing too good so far. 49 yards through the air, one interception. Only a field goal to show for points for the Packers. Scanling with 43 of those 49 yards. Here we are at the half, enjoying the halftime show. And happy anniversary, Tecmo Super Bowl. Released December 13th, which was Monday, 1991. As far as my all-time favorite football game goes, I prefer Tecmo Super Bowl 3 for Super Nintendo because of the custom-made player and the stats, live while you play stats, stuff like that, the cinematics and stuff, the weather effects. I prefer Tecmo Super Bowl 3. Tecmo Super Bowl 3 is more of a simulation. This is more of an arcade-style football game. Anybody could just pick this up and not know shit about football, and I guarantee you by their second or third game, they'll know enough to be dangerous. In terms of run-and-gun fun, you can't beat Tecmo Super Bowl, even the new Madden games. I, I checked out a Madden, like, 2006, 2007. And aside from playing it on my tablet a couple years ago, which I don't like the touchscreen stuff. 
I really just haven't been invested in the Madden games for a long, long time. But Tecmo Super Bowl... I've had it on all of the consoles that I've been able to play it on. I've had it on all my Mac computers over the years, and on my PCs over the years, and even on my telephones over the last 10 years. I can play Tecmo Super Bowl virtually anywhere. And Aaron Jones picking up the first down for the Packers. Rodgers back to pass. Rodgers getting tied up. Tyus Bowser with the sack. Second down and 14. A loss of four yards there for Rodgers. Rodgers hands it off to Jones. Jones going to pick up about three yards on that carry. Third down and 11 for Green Bay. Rodgers going downfield to Scantlin, overthrows the receiver, and they're going to try for another field goal. That one, Mason Crosby doinking off the upright again. Crosby unable to hit two field goals this ball game, and Edwards... Gonna be run out of bounds, loses six yards on that carry. Third down, or second down, and 16. Going downtown to Brown. Brown jumping in the air, makes the catch. Brown is gone. Downtown, Marquise Brown. game if I would say is out of control folks little bit out of control here which I'm glad because if you've been watching my streams for the last five weeks on Tuesday nights you could see the pain and anguish that I've been putting myself through on that custom-made Jaguars roster and we're ending that season next week. We're going to play the final four games instead of stretching it out for three more weeks. We're just going to... We played four games last night instead of two. And we're playing four games next week to finish off the season. And we got another interception. Humphrey picking up his second interception of the ball game. going to end that season next Tuesday night and then we're going to simulate probably one to two seasons off stream I might do it on stream just for shits and giggles just to keep everything above board and we'll see how much we can build up the stats for the team when we officially start season 17 of the Tecmo Super Bowl Tuesday night streams. And I want to apologize to people that have been tuning in on Tuesday night for my attitude. I just... It was just demoralized. And I thought I was a good enough player to overcome that shit. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> And I felt like I was wasting everybody's time that was giving me their time to come watch me. Just sit there and rage and rant. And it boils down to me, if I'm not having fun, I can't expect people that are tuning in to have fun. So we're going to actually play the final games. We're just going... We're going to three-minute quarters instead of the five-minute quarters. And we're just going to take our, our big 1-11, 1-12 season, whatever we're at right now. We're going to lick our wounds and live the fight another day with hopefully some more competitive 
players when we officially kick off Season 17 of Tecmo Tuesday. Probably be doing that after New Year. I usually like to take a week break in between seasons. We didn't do that this year because I wanted to get into the Jaguar season. I was so hyped to play with all custom players. I was more excited to do that than I was to finish the last season playing with the Giants. And you saw how much better I performed with that team. But that was a team that started out with all the pre-made players already baked into it, and I, only, I would introduce custom players like two, three a season and have a little bit of room to build and focus on one or two players at a time instead of trying to raise the stats of every single player at every position. By the way, Green Bay just scored their first touchdown of the game. 42-10 to 10 now. If anybody cares. <laughs> not going to be getting me to care because I'm not a big fan of the Green Bay Packers. I actually still have a postseason I need to play from the last Tecmo Super Bowl challenge that I was in back in October. I played a season as the 1991 Packers, and I made it to the playoffs, but I never finished the postseason. That was the one where the point differential would be what determined if you moved on to the next round. And my point differential with that team, with that Packers team, was only like 20, 30 points. So I wasn't going nowhere. Some of those guys had like 987 points scored versus 10 points against. And there was no way I was going to beat those guys with that Packer team. Gus Edwards... Out of the backfield, Edwards not really finding a lot of room to run here in the second half. Green Bay defense kind of tightening up a little bit. Jackson hits Boyle for another first down. Baltimore running with that two tight end set. And Edwards... Tomorrow night, there he is. We were talking about him earlier. His ears must have been burning. Oog37, how are you doing, my friend? I'm looking forward to playing with you tomorrow night. And Jackson with the fumble. A minute 39 left. Green Bay getting their first turnover of the ball game. At this point, it's just garbage time scoring. Scantlin finally catching one. Who's wrestling? I don't have cable, so I can't watch AEW. I have to catch it on YouTube if I watch any of the highlights. So I don't know who's working who tonight. Is this the big one with Daniel Bryan and Cole? Oh, Hangman Page versus Brian. Oh, that should be good. Third down and three for the Packers. 43 seconds left to play in the ball game. Batted down. Yeah, it should be up on YouTube later tonight. I'll catch it before I go to bed. I think they put it up the same night. Maybe not. 
Aaron Jones with some garbage time scoring. Forty-two to seventeen. They're gonna go for the onside, but it don't matter at this point. Two seconds left. You know what that means. Peanut butter jelly time. Going deep to Andrews. Oh, Mark Andrews unable to make the catch. Holy shit. That's a long match. 42 to 17. Lamar Jackson, four carries for 53 yards. Aaron Jones, 13 for 74. Jackson, 280 yards passing. Aaron Rodgers, 163 with two interceptions. Marquise Brown, two receptions, 102 yards. And Scantling, three for 82. And you know what that means. The Pick'em stream is going to move to 13 and 4 <laughs> on stream for the season. Now we have to wait for these games to play out in real life to see what the parentheses are going to read when you come back to visit me next Wednesday night. Ah, why did I turn that off? I didn't mean to turn that off. I meant to put this up. Again, I am trying to raise money to help out the Love Alive Charity, which is a local not-for-profit organization here in the Northeast Florida area that's been running for 10 years, helping people with things such as food, clothing, rent, and utility assistance, school supplies. If there is a need by a family, the Love Alive Charity run by Elijah Burke, a.k.a. The Pope, for you wrestling fans, talking about wrestling here, please click the link. Donate if you got a few extra bucks. Every dollar counts. You can donate via PayPal, Cash App. You can write them a check. If you live in my area, the Jacksonville area, you can buy tickets to the NWA Power Brawl, Duval Brawl 4 here on January 8th. NWA World Championship being defended in Jacksonville for the first time in 30 years as the champion Trevor Murdoch steps into the squared circle with former WWF superstar, the vampire warrior himself, Gangrel. And I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Calicott, what's that channel that you were talking about again could you please type it out for me I know it was something bacon international bacon incident I think don't forget tomorrow night yeah what year I don't know man Trevor Murdoch's still pretty fucking solid I wouldn't be surprised if Gangrel is, too. International Space Bacon. We are going to be visiting the International Space Bacon with our raid tonight because Calicott said he is celebrating his birthday. And we will be back tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. You see him in chat. Oog37 going to be my special head coach tomorrow night on Thursday Night Fanball. We're in between seasons right now. When we come back with season four, the official season four of the Fanball series, we're going to college. We're going to be playing as the Georgia Bulldogs on one of the Tecmo Super Bowl NCAA mods that I have. And if you're not a Georgia Bulldog fan, I'm sorry. I am. And it's my stream, so I get to play with who I want. I gave you guys two seasons picking who you wanted me to play with. 
But we are going to be playing tomorrow night with Oog 37's homebrew Tecmo team, the New York Giants Paragons versus the Twitch Defenders. And I think we're going to be playing against the Albuquerque Albinos, which is a rock and roll Hall of Fame themed football team. I was looking over some of the rosters last night, just kind of amused. I looked at the WWF Legends roster that he's got made on this ROM. We might play against them too. So you'll have to tune in to find out. And we are going to go over to the International Space Bacon. When you go in there, please wish him a very happy birthday. And I'll see you tomorrow night, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. Thanks for the follow, thanks for the raid.